kids. Think about the work of the kingdom of God, right? How do we think of it? We think of it, don't we? Like catching fish. You know? Jesus goes by the seashore and he says to those fishermen, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And they're all sort of pretty manly lads. Who, yeah, hunting! Yeah, it's hunting, yeah, it's fishing somewhere else. So we can talk to the, the guys in the mart and, and they go, on a bad day, you know, they go away. Sorry about a bit of grief. Never mind, we're in hell up, I'm going hunting. <laughs> That's it. Well, they've had a domestic at home. We're in mid hell up. I'm going hunting. Um, How true that is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is true, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We see it as, no, no, hang on, thank you for that. It's a word of encouragement. Mm -hmm. um, so we get out the, we go out and we cast the net. And we go out and we cast the net by telling things to people. And we expect to just then drag the net back in the boat full. Strenuous efforts made, you go out, you throw out your net, you tell them, and then you bring the net back in. And after strenuous effort, we're often desperately disappointed in the morning, the way these guys fishing in the Sea of Galilee were that morning when Jesus found them. We often personally don't get fed in this process, we often don't get close to Christ in the process, we often actually don't take the work of the Kingdom of God forward in that process. Because we've got this fishing model for what we're doing. We're here in the boat, right? Now we're just going to go out there with the net, we're going to chuck it about a bit, and we're going to pull it back into our boat. And we feel happy, safe and secure. That's the model. Now, of course, the initial call for those followers of Jesus, not that word initial, back in Matthew 4, was to follow Christ and to become fishers of men. But that's when they start following Christ. And what that following of Christ should have done is to change them, to make them new men with different thoughts and, and feelings and attitudes and priorities in life. Therefore, men with a different way of doing things, you know, being a Christian and, and growing in grace means we end up with a different way of doing things. It should have changed them. It should have changed their attitude to what they do and how they do what they do. So my big idea this morning is this. We've neglected the model that Jesus sets out for the people doing that work of the kingdom of God. People who are going out doing the work of the kingdom of God, they're to go fishing like shepherds. Yeah, I know. It does make you out of it. He's the good shepherd, right? Shepherds feed sheep. They lead sheep out and they feed them. And they nurture them. And they care for them. And it's a nuisance. And it's a pain. And the sheep knock you over. Certainly this time of year they're angry. You go with the bag in the field this time of year and they're after you. And you know, you've got trouble standing up sometimes. Shepherds feed sheep. And if you follow the good shepherd, here's your model. We're here feeding sheep. He's just been doing that as Jesus for his followers. Because he says, come over, there's breakfast. And he's commissioning his followers to feed sheep, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, take care of my sheep. He's commissioning them to do that because they are following him and he is the great shepherd and his business is drawing together and feeding sheep. You go into a field at the moment with a bag of food and you've got sheep. They're all around you, you can't move for them. And he's going to go on, is Jesus, to commission his followers to go out into the world to carry the work of the kingdom of God forward in his absence. And to do that by catching fish? No. To do that by making disciples, feeding sheep. The way he's modelled that process to them. How has he modelled that process to them? He's just invested his life in them for the last three and a half years. Going with them, teaching them, questioning them, feeding them into faith and closer following of Jesus. He's been investing his life in them. It seems more than possible the dominant model for how Jesus wants the kingdom of God taken forward in his absence is that of leading sheep out to pasture and feeding them day by day, hungry sheep, rather than furtively creeping up on fish at night and capturing them by dragging them into your boat with a net. Can you see the difference? And how would that change what we're doing? <laughs> Fishing, these guys knew, you know? Fishing they did, they were comfortable with it. There they are, after his resurrection, after all the traumatic events of, you know, 
the crucifixion and resurrection. There they are with some certainty, Peter says, I'm going to fish in. It's what I know. It's what I do. It's what I find easy to do. And Jesus says, yeah, you fishermen, you're going to be shepherds. What? Shepherds? Joking. I don't do that. Shepherds the lowest of the low as well. In Old Testament times, yeah. But unlike most of the leaders of God's people to date, Jesus is now starting with fishermen, not shepherds. And he's saying, I'm taking you and I'm making shepherds of you. It is more peculiar, isn't it? Now, before we all get legal and self-critical, let's not forget how gracious Jesus is being in calling specifically Peter to this at this point, at this moment.